It's a pleasure having you here, sir. What can you say about the uh, the strike, indefinite strike that have already commenced today, and how long can that be sustained? What is the reasons for the strike? Uh, do you think it is realistic? Well, I have mixed feeling. I have mixed feeling for that strike. One, labor demand for minimum wage. That's labor now. I mean, labor demand for minimum wage of about fifteen hundred thousand, and they have dropped it to about four hundred five thousand. And federal government is saying they will offer maximum of six thousand. Yes, that's what federal government is saying. That's big. That they can't go beyond six thousand. My labor is six four and something thousand. They initially put it at 600,000 plus. They've reviewed it to 495 or so. Now, the government is saying 60,000. That's the maximum they can go. But let us quickly examine the labor demand. Because what labor is demanding for, the labor demand, the wage they are talking about, when whatever is granted by federal government will only be enjoyed by people who are earning salary, who are other private employee or government employee, they are the ones that will enjoy this money. People who are self-employed, who are not drawing salary from any, anybody, they are, they are not going to be beneficial of this thing. I'm not drawing salary from anybody. I'm not paying salary, I'm not being paid by salary, paid salary by other private establishments or public. I make my own money by myself. So where is labor concern for me? Labor's demand is only a sectional demand for people who are employee or other private establishments or government establishments. The rest member of the of society who are not drawing salary from anybody, how would they be beneficial of this demand, of this, of this money? Don't forget, when this, this employee, whether private or public, when they eventually get an increment in their income, I don't know what government is going to settle with them at the end of the day, they will have more money in their pockets. There will be an increment in their, amount, in their income, no matter how, whether it's 10 or so. But there will be suddenly an increment. But what about the self employed or the unemployed who, do, who, do not, who are not captured in this, in this uh, scheme? What will be their office? That means those who are unemployed and self employed, they will go to the same markets with the people who have got an increment in their pockets. Who are salary or private or public? We are all be exposed to the same market to buy articles, the same articles. Then tell me who will be advantage, who will be disadvantage. Certainly the employee, the employee who are drawing salary from government or no government, they are the one that will be advantage. Why the self-employed, particularly people of the lower cadre and the unemployed, will be disadvantage? That is why. Never demand this in my own explanation, in, in my own estimation, in my own, in my own understanding. It's more of such an advantage to some people. Don't you think why they are demanding for such is because of the increment in uh, food and services, which also is affecting them as well. They can't cope up with the current uh, salary scheme. Hello, sir. I agree that we are both the same market. I'm talking from my own point, from my own where I belong, to the side of the, the, side of the economy, side of the, uh, of the society that I belong. This increment means you also, whether you are, if you are self-employed, you can also increase your own services and product, which means at the end of the day, it is meaningless. The increment will not have any effect. Do you know why is that? The more, the more that's exactly what you have said, the more increment in the labor cost, the, the wages of, uh, of labor. Of both private of of of, 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 of both private of, of public, there will be a corresponding increase in the price of the products, which you will see leads to higher inflation. Because if say X Y X X Nigeria Limited is paying ten naira as the total wage B per month for all the staff, now it's going to be paying fifteen naira. There's an increment of five naira. That price of five naira increment will be reflected in the price of the products of the company, meaning. More body on the masses. But I'm talking about where the initial increment of the income, who will be beneficial of it. That's where I'm first, that's the, 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 the first thing I'm addressing that. Those people that will first 
benefits from it are the employee. Those who are self-employed or jobless who don't benefit from it. So if labor has been championing a labor, a labor, a labor movement that encompasses the whole spectrum of workforce, both self-employed, unemployed, and the employee, sorry now, it will be more beneficial, it will be more reasonable than the more, you know, a sensational look like of an of an institution that the labor is back to I, I don't have anything against the the increment, uh, the, 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 the demand of government. Don't get me wrong. I, I don't have anything against. I'm only just giving a broader, a deeper understanding analysis of it. That who are those people that will get beneficial more? People who are employees. What well, the moment is is, is a pool, Government offices, government establishment will increase. Private company will go negotiate with their labor, with their labor, or with their, with the union of their labors, the union of their workers. They will first the increment. But what about us who are not getting salary, who are self-employed, or the unemployed? Who will pay us? How will we benefit from it? That's what I'm talking about. But at the end of the day, what we shall see up is an increment in the in the products. We should bring to more bodies. We should increase in your know, leadership. More inflation, more increment, increment in the price of products, more inflation, more cost of living, more cost of you know, living of, of, of nurses. But so, but what I ask, well, what I spend about to do. In their decision, which I don't know if it's if it's clear in their, in their demand, is that they should hold government accountable to bring in some you know, a kind of relief measures to the whole entire working populace, so that those who are self-employed and the unemployed can also go home with something as the employee of public and private are going with increments because certain something will be agreed. There will be an understanding there will be an increment. As those who are going to the houses, to the smiley home, the, the remaining section of the economy, of workforce, they should engage government as, okay, the unemployed, the self-employed, government, what are you doing for them? The government should come up in form of a kind of policy, form of relief measures that will cushion the hard effect on us. That's what I think labor should include in their agitation. Do you think the government is is even ready to attend to all these things? Or is just a, a, an exercise in fertility? At the end of the day, they will return to zero level. Tinubu uh, has threatened to arrest the labor leaders and the risk, of course, being jailed. Uh, how can you imagine the possibility of such? You can't realize anything from government. Government is the maximum custodian of, of the force of the nation. The force... But the labor, we are demanding what is due for them. Hello, hello sir. What I'm telling you is that governments of any nation, they are the custodians of force. Instruments of force. Even of, instruments of question. Government of any nation is the, the custodian of it. They have the, the military at the American, at the American court. They are the police. They have every resource of the nation and they can call and they can deploy it. They can deploy it at the slightest you know, request at the slightest instruction. So, I'm not surprised if they can do that. They can do that, but what will be the effect of it? Can they tell the outcome of it? We got maybe able to tell the outcome of it, but there's a problem in my language. As you remember, Mr. Lajay by name, I know that they say you only know the beginning of the war. You don't know the ongoing of it. You don't know the end of it. You must say that what they say. You only know the beginning of it, of an issue. You cannot tell exactly what will be the yes, the ongoing of it and the ending part of it. If it is, he has the he has the monopoly of question of instruments, instrument of question, instrument of force. At his it can only to people. Can't there be resistance? No, there's no resistance. There could be resistance too. It's also, it's also, it's also possible. Because people are already angry and no. they are fed up. Hello, sir. I'm going to tell him, the river man, like, like myself, you understand the, the, the problem I, 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 if it thinks, if we have himself that he has in the respect of question, in the of force, as a deposit, he can deploy it and suppress and crush anything. Does he know that 
that could be resistance as well. And can you tell what will be the end of that resistance? And so it should be just be foolish and be, be, be power drunk. The, the, the thing, I, it caused this, it caused much of this problem for himself for having removed, uh, yes, without any, with daily preparation, which is, which is, which is the bloodiest mistake he has made, blunder he has made. So he should live, he should be, he should be open enough you know, to address the matter. The worst he caused for himself, I'm not being arrogant, I'm not being pompous, I'm not being thinking that. I have the instrument of oppression of, of us in my position. I can use it to, to, to crush. It may not succeed in crushing. It may boom around and lead to an eventual sack. You should go back and learn about Gaddafi, Mugabe. The man in Mali. I mean, the man in Mali, the man in Niger, the man in Chad, Gabon, Burkina Faso. We have examples around us. People in this country where he's present today, he should cast his mind back. People have been there before, and we are and, and, and booted out. And it could come up in any way. It should not create a, you know, an opportunity for that to happen to him. I don't wish anybody out of, their, out of where everybody is. I wish nobody any bad luck. But let's him act wisely. Let's him sit down and do the very control of what he caused by himself. Thank you so much, honestly. It's been a very interesting one. God bless you for a wonderful submission. Yes, thank you very much.